All right, one last chat with Hannah Cole before she uh, picks up her award and hits the road. Hannah, we got to talk about uh, the motocross portion here. How did it go? We wrapped up today, Saturday. How did it go for you? It went really well. I mean, my results in the women's class weren't quite where I wanted them to be, but the class was pretty stacked. There was a lot of people here, so I did what I could, and I mean, I pushed to the very last second with everything I had, so not disappointed in the way I rode, just the results weren't where I thought they should be, and the girls' class went really well for me. I had good results in both motos. I pushed hard, so I can't be really disappointed with it at this point. Nice. Okay, a couple things I want to touch on. That. I know, so the uh, women's class versus the girls' class, uh, bike size and everything, this track, everybody I've spoken to has said this was like the gnarliest, roughest track they've ever ridden. What was it like on the little bike out there for you? Yeah, going from like the big bike with the bigger tires and the, it just, it was different and it was hard, but I mean, I just had to kind of put that aside and not really think about it and just go out there and do what I came here to do. And I mean, switching back and forth is harder and especially going on a much rougher track on a way smaller bike isn't easy, mm -hmm. but I did it and we made it work. Nice. Now I kind of uh, made a bit of a, not a joke, but I, I made mention of the fact that I'll, I keep talking about how no matter what position you're in, you could be last, you could be first, you are never alone out there. However, you managed to get in sixth place and alone out yeah. there. How the heck did that happen? Um, I was like, I didn't have the start that I wanted to and then I got made a few passes on the first lap and then by the second lap, I had made a couple more passes into kind of a comfortable position, and I couldn't catch up to the people ahead of me, and so I just wrote it out at that point, and I did what I had to do. All right, now Supercross versus Motocross, what do you like? Um, Supercross is definitely not really my thing, um, <laughs> but the, the way they have it set up here is a lot better, so I really liked it, but um, I definitely like the Motocross a lot better, which gives you way more time if something goes wrong to kind of pick yourself back up and get back at it. All right, now i got to ask you, what's next? Are you hitting the road and driving home, or what are you doing? Um, we're going to take our camper back and drop it off at WW with Club 57, where I train at, and um, I'm going to fly home, and then I'll be back down in a few weeks or so to do some more training and some more riding and get ready for Loretta's qualifiers and stuff like that. Wow, that's awesome. We've got Canadians sprinkled all over Florida here. You'll probably Will you stay down to some winter rams as well? or what? Um, Not sure yet. Um, I might catch a few of them, but... Yeah, we're not 100% on the plan yet, but I will be back down to do like some training and stuff before before the summer for sure. All right, now you said you're getting ready for uh, some Loretta's qualifiers and everything, but uh, what about next summer in Canada? Um, that's kind of the big question right oh. now where I kind of hopped up on the big bike and it kind of took off for me. So, um, <laughs> um we're going to do we're going to stick on the little bike for a little bit longer and then hopefully do maybe Loretta's another time and then we're going to really dig into the women's nationals in Canada. So I'm super excited to kind of dip my toes into that and run with, with the big girls and stuff. So I'm excited. All right. Awesome. Well, great chatting with you. Safe travels. Have fun down here. And who do you want to thank, Hannah? Um, I want to thank my mom, my dad, and my brother for doing everything that they possibly can to get me here. It means the absolute world to me. Um, all of my friends and family back home have been so supportive, um, sending me messages all the time, mm -hmm. wishing me the best of luck on all my races. So a big thank you to them for always being there for me and showing me that I can do whatever I put my mind to. And um, especially all my sponsors from back home, um, Team Toys for Big Boys, um, TM Plumbing and Heating, GS Equipment Rentals, um, Factory Connection, FMF, Pinson, um, easy clean and everyone else that helps me thank you so much awesome well congrats on a, uh, a good week down here at the minios good luck with what comes next and i'm sure we'll see you soon thank you